Hey, what's up everybody? Clayton here with Go Analytics, and today I wanna to show you how to filter a data table in Power Query by a list. So let's get started. Hey, welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to stay up to date on all of our latest videos. All right, so today we're showing you how to filter a data table in Power Query by a list. So let's say you have a list of client IDs and you want to filter your sales table by only those specific clients that you've selected in that list. How can we dynamically do this in Power Query? Well, let's head on over to my laptop and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so here we are in Power Query, and this time we're showing you Power Query inside of Excel, but this would be the exact same thing if you're doing it in Power BI. And as you can see here, we have two queries. We have a query for uh, province names and regions, and we have a query here for GDP. So GDP estimates by province and by year and by industry. So let's say in this example, we want to filter this uh, geography province name here uh, based on our list here. So in our list here, we can filter it down. So let's say I only want to look at the Western provinces of Canada. So I can select that and then all I have to do then is convert this to a list. And what I want to convert is this province territory name. So after selecting this column, I can go to transform and click on convert to list. As you can see, it looks different now. And the little icon next to the name of this query has changed to indicate that this is now a list. So we can use this list to filter values in our real GDP annual data here. Now, the easiest way to do this uh, with the least amount of coding is to just go ahead and select our geo column here. And I'll go ahead and just select one of these values. And now we can apply a function to use that prov list as a list to filter our data in the Rio GDP annual query. And we can do that right in the formula bar here, or I could also go to the advanced editor and see all of our code and be able to edit that code. So what I want to replace is everything inside these two round brackets here. And the function that we're going to be using is list.contains list.contains open brackets and it takes two arguments it takes our list and it takes a value so for our list what we want is that list that we created so our prov list and i start typing that and intellisense automatically gives that for us here and i can click on it and select it or i could just continue to type it all out and then i'll put a comma and for value, what we want is the column that we want to filter. So in this case, our geo column. So here we have our function list that contains the two arguments is our list and our column. So now we can click the check mark. And as you can see here, we have uh, if I expand this, we have Alberta and British Columbia, which are the two provinces that are in our prov list here, right? So if I go to our previous step here and change that filtering, let's say now I want to look at the Atlantic provinces of Canada. See, now I have four columns. I have uh, four different provinces here. So once I go to the last step, this is converted to a list and let's head back over to our real GDP bam there it is now it's automatically filtered our geography list by those four provinces that are in our list so that's it that's how you can filter a data table by a list in power query if you're looking to try this out on your own 
check out our free template. We left a description right down there in the description below. You can click on the link and download that uh, spreadsheet for free and check out how we did this in our example. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and we'll see you in the next video.